you do. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, this truck is, look at this face, this smile. I mean, this truck, imagine pulling up because it's got some presets for the air ride. You can set it so that when you get out, it lowers all the way down. When you get back in, it comes back up to the standard ride height. It just, it's just, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's so entertaining and looks so cool because you can't, you know, who ever sees a car like this, right? Or a truck like this, slammed, short bed, fully restored, modern conveniences inside. This thing is awesome. Uh, we're gonna spend a few minutes walking around it. We're gonna look at the quality of paint. We're gonna look at the upgraded interior, the drivetrain, the big braking system. Like, so much time and effort was put into this. This was built by somebody who was, who was fastidious. The word meaning detail-oriented, right? And you'll see that he built it for himself. This isn't a car that was restored by somebody for somebody. And you'll see the wiring is wrapped properly and labeled. You'll see that the nuts and bolts or fasteners are, are stainless steel. Like things that are done on this are the detail stuff you would do yourself if you were building it yourself, if you could build it yourself. But my point is, if you could build it for yourself, you couldn't build it for what you could buy for today, it'd cost you twice as much and take you three years to do it. So this is why this is a great deal. All right, so let's look at some detail stuff. Like this is things for me, as a person who does this all the time, I look at stuff like this. I look at the quality of tires. For instance, like this here, instead of having, say, maybe some Chinese tires on some uh, Chinese rims, and I'm not banging on the Chinese, I'm just saying they're less expensive quality-wise, right? Here we have some Boss Motorsports rims, which cost a little bit more, and Continental, um, uh, contact tires all the way around on here, right? This is an expensive wheel and tires, probably $2,500 worth of wheels and tires. Why? Because he built it for himself. And the big brake shows off inside here, all nestled inside this beautiful fender with new liners, new bolts in here. There's detail stuff you can't see that you want to see. And I want to share some of that with you. Let's talk about the last part, and that is the quality of the paint. The quality of the paint is spectacular. This blue and the metallic and then multiple coats of clear on top of it uh, make for a really different, really different look in my opinion, especially the way uh, some of the lines are. So when you have metallic paint and you have edges of, of vehicles, like this is a custom cow hood on here, so it makes it uh, shine even more. But let's look at what you care about most and that is the paint. Why is it shiny? Because somebody put a lot of time and effort into it. And I think that you'll see once we look at these letters here, all nice and crystal clear in there. See how you can see every letter nice and crisp. Not that you can see it, but you can actually read it and everything that's in there, so. All right, let's take a peek under here because whether you will go to a car show or in your garage, you wanna show your friends or something like that, you wanna see detail here. This is the parts of, of vehicles that are expensive that most people don't get. Putting in an LS drivetrain, for instance. You're talking about aluminum heads, aluminum block, fuel injection, you know, you turn the key, it starts. It doesn't care whether it's eight outside or 108 outside. It starts, it runs, it's just way more reliable than say maybe carburation is. Upgraded braking system, upgraded steering box in here, right? We're looking at uh, things like rack and pinion steering. This has rack and pinion steering instead of the old style steering box. Big fat wheels and tires around, so it handles as well. It rides nicely, throw in the fact that uh, all of this stuff is so detailed here. The air conditioning system is hidden inside here. Only see a couple hoses, so it's modern heat and modern air conditioning, right? I'm just adding up some things. If we look in just the engine compartment alone, it's almost $20,000 worth of products in here. Big radiator, right, uh, to help with the cooling. And then you got a full custom grill here, painted and color matched, all brand new stuff. Great looking uh, LED spots for headlights in there. I go on and on about it because I get excited because we do store cars and trucks for a living. And when you see the effort that goes into something like this, you know that this is really, really done well. Even the wiring is all beautifully detailed. You can barely see any wiring in here at all. Why? Because it was all wrapped and run inside the fenders all around here. Look how clean and everything is, including the, the grommets that go into the firewall. The wiring goes through rubber grommets so it doesn't rub on there. You may say, well, that's not a big deal. However, a year, five years, 10 years from now, that could be a big deal when that's done. And that's what this person was doing when they were thinking about building it. All right, so I like to point out detail and effort. So I get this all the time. Man, that's a great looking truck or that's a great looking car, but a lot of people don't know why it's a great looking vehicle. Let's talk about that for a second. For instance here, all of the bright work is all brand new. The taillights are brand new. However, the bumper is missing from the car, truck. Why? 
because they spent this time here massaging, rolling, welding in the holes, and just making a detailed look that looks so good. Once we look inside the bed, you're gonna be, wow. You would never use this truck to go to Home Depot unless, of course, you know, you maybe you were carrying velvet in the back. You know, a lot of the restoration is tied up in the bed of this truck. And the bed is not just where you put things on, on inside here, which when we get to it, you're gonna go, wow, that's really great looking. But it's all the whole thing, right? It's all restored, it's beautifully welded, all the dents, details, stuff like that, all out of it, beautifully clear coated and painted. And here, this is the originator of the tailgate party. So uh, you might have sat back here Right, had yourself a, a beverage, we'll call it a beverage, all right? And then throw some uh, chairs in the back here, right? So some chairs in the back here. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this without looking. And then this right here rolls up all nice. And if you want, you just go ahead and pull this right here. Check this out. It doesn't take but a second. And I love this, because it comes with the truck. It comes with the truck. Got little ties here that wrap it all together to keep it from uh, moving around. And look at how beautiful the detail is in here. The gas tank has been moved from behind the seat. A lot of people don't know that, man. That's an important feature. That costs thousands of dollars to do, right? Because you got to get the gas tank out of there, new gas tank, lines, all that good stuff. And now the fuel filler has been moved to right there. Okay? Super easy to get to. You don't have to undo all that if you don't want to. All you do is lower the gate. Fuel in, boom, and it's out from behind inside the vehicle. And then if you look as well, the gas cap has been filled in over there and you don't see it. Since you're gonna spend most of your time inside, let's get in here and see what that's gonna look like to you. You already know what you look like rolling down the road. Now we're gonna get in. All right, check out this little stuff, little stuff like the footwell lighting, right? Even the colors lit all over here inside the HVAC system. Digital sound system here. Tilt wheel, overdrive automatic, even the headliner is redone. Visors, seats in leather, door panels match. The dash is painted as nice as the outside of the vehicle. It looks great. Here's the air ride system. You can program it for any height that you like. So when you turn it off, it'll lower itself to a pre-described height. And when you start the vehicle, it'll raise itself to a pre-set level. All new gauges, right? Factory tack in the, in the center there. Everything. It's not just idiot lights. I could go on and on. I just love this truck. And uh, if I'm rambling, it's I'm rambling because there's so much to talk about, right? Captain's chairs with armrests. And you just say, well, uh, that's amazing. And I say, well, you say it's amazing. And I say the detail from the, the speakers molded into the kick panels there to all new chrome vents and this piece of molding here that's new and the, all the stainless steel that's up here, new mirror. Uh, satellite radio. I mean, it's just got so much great stuff in it. It's such a cool truck. It could be a daily driver. It could be a once in a weekend driver. It could be anything you want, but it needs to be your driver. All right, so let's close up the video on this. We're talking about a 71 short bed pro touring pickup. What does pro touring really mean? Well, it means that this truck drives very much like a new truck, right? but looks so much better than any new truck has ever looked, right? You walk up and you go, wow, this is a great looking truck. And we looked at so much stuff today from the quality of the paint to the cowl hood, to the big wheels and tires and the brakes that are inside there, the leather seats, the custom bed, the special uh, rolled pan in the back, the just on and on and on. It is spectacular. There's an enormous amount of money spent and you'd be crazy, crazy not to, to get something like this instead of trying to build it all on your own. It would take you years to do it and you'd spend way more, way more than it costs uh, to purchase it right now. So anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, short bed Chevrolet pickup. And if you would, please don't forget to like the video right there. Share it with your friends, right? Share it with friends. I'm sure that people love these as well. And subscribe to the channel. We got new videos coming out every day.